What else have we decided to do now? We decided to go and get water and then move to a new place at 7.18 at night. I'd be disappointed if we didn't decide to do that at this time of night. It's very busy in Bornston. It might be for the best. Look at all those boats. Intrepid explorers, who are slightly damp now, are going on, onwards, to an unknown place. To the puddle bank. To, to an unknown place. Andrew's least favourite place in Wilston. Oh no. We're going this way for the first time, carrying on. We're not going to go in that way and then come out that way. We're just going to go that way and see what's down there. These clouds are not it. It doesn't look that bad on the camera, but it is bad in real life. Look at you go. It's a lot easier when you don't have to turn the boat around. Here we go. On camera, it does not look like it's essentially night time. No. But in really real life, dark. it really does feel like it's basically night time because the clouds are so heavy above us. It's quite so. apocalyptic. It's extremely apocalyptic vibe. I think I have to actually underexpose this to show what it looks like. This is what it looks like in real life. Yeah, exactly like this. Yep, that's it. Like that. Dark. Look at that view. The sunflowers, Ooh, the yes. old railway, the ominous clouds. <laughs> wow, it's busy down here. Okay, great. When I was a kid I used to play here. It probably wasn't safe because it's where they used to dump all the dredgings out of the canal, all the mud. And I used to, like when I was very young, like, to go through it and rifle for any junk that had been dumped in there. I know. But um, now I can't even tell where that area was because it used to just be piles of fresh mud. And now, like, if you ask me exactly where it is, it's really, really hard to even uh, even see where, where that area was. It Because I remember it being like a big hill or, you know, like at least raised, but then I was very young. It'll be fine. It'll be somewhere at Fleckno. There's loads of more in there. And I'm hoping, because on the Google Maps there was loads of people just moored in random bits. Yeah. So there might be other bits where, because obviously we're... here you can't walk. Yeah. But there might be other bits that are a bit more straight, like a couple of bridges past. Yeah, okay. once we get through that, there'll be loads. Okay. It's all piling there. It's just the fine. darkness. Like, if there wasn't these insane clouds, it, w it feels like it's about 10 p.m., but it's 10 to 9. If we didn't have the clouds, it wouldn't feel so weird and and the ominous crows. Yeah, I mean, the ominous crows and the ominous clouds are making it very ominous vibes. That's just dressing, it's window dressing. It's, it's not just real. puddle bank. <laughs> this does make it feel like how, you know, at Dunchurch, it's always windy. Puddle banks, it's always dark. Because we've only ever been here where it's either getting dark or 
dark. When we so. came down in winter, it was crazy with the crows. The crows were just like, meh, meh, meh. but it was also like really dark, and now it's dark again. It's a perma dark. <sighs> this is giving apocalypse now. The late hour and the fact that there didn't seem to be a single other soul around and the crows and the weird weather gave everything a slightly sinister atmosphere. Our first impression was cruising directly into the beginning of a horror movie. Can I see anything? Nope. Can't see Pink Floyd. You can barely see it. Why is the CRT not cleaning up the Pink Floyd sign? The culture. Unbelievable. It's been there as long as I can remember. Exactly. They should clean it up. Look, they just managed to wild more. They don't mind a bit of a incredibly sloping bank. Our hull does. Dark. It's raining. Gorgeous. Stunning. Eventually we got to a bit with loads of moored boats where we felt infinitely less that we were going to get killed and eaten by monsters, so we just needed to find a mooring. How are you feeling now? Like we're cruising in the dark, which is okay. It's what the traditional boat people used to do. So we can just pretend that we're doing a coal run. Visibility is, I would say, questionable, but that's fine. Oh my God, Marionette, I'm obsessed with you. In the light of day, of course, everything looked completely different. Without the crows and the ominous clouds, this was obviously a totally gorgeous spot. This was a beautiful mooring to spend a couple of days finally enjoying the summer weather that we had waited so long to arrive. I think this is like um, Eminem, Stan. <laughs> up here as well. Not sure if that's made it any better. The 
look at this. It's very well camouflaged. It looks just like leaf. I like how there's a little hole. Yeah. It's like there's nothing to do with me. It's like a cartoon where there's like a hole and then there's a caterpillar that clearly has been eating holes into it. Mate, how much basil do you need? Oh my god, he's not going to poke out of it, is he? That's incredible. So just been to uh, Midland Chandler's and uh, it was a sale, 10% off. So I've replaced the uh, hook that I broke when I was getting the uh, trolley out of the water for Jay. And this time it's not gonna break because it's a good pole because let's face it, what is a boat pole if it can't pull out something like a trolley out of the water? It's absolutely useless. Should I do a boating picture? Yeah, go on. So in uh, part 32 of our uh, Birds of the Water Rose, we've learned about moorhens and uh, they're very smart. They build their nests halfway up in the bushes. So sometimes they're about the headlights so when you're going through the boat, if you look into a bush, you actually see a moorhen just sitting there. But it's very clever. Genius. Well done. Beautiful white cat, you're stunning. You are just gorgeous. Oh wow, what a shot. Matilda has never been an outdoor girly, even before we got the boat, but she does sometimes come out on the back to sniff things and see what we're up to, because she's really curious about what we're doing, but she's not massively interested in the outside generally. Nothing all right? Yeah. This is the perils of boat life. So what's happened is... We're being shaken up. We're being shaken up. It's like the mafia. They've come <laughs> around at night and they've started tapping the side of the boat. And obviously, they only want one thing. Where are the kids? I think these might be different swans from our swans, you see. They could be different swans. I think these are different. Ours are quite placid. These ones seem quite violent. Quite aggressive. <laughs> like our ones, they've got four kids. They like, you know, got yeah. a nice family life. If you get me the other torch, you might be able to see them more, but I can't, I can't see any kids. Oh yeah, so it is our swans. Present and correct. <laughs> they rode around on their... Literally, I just looked down at them, I'm like, they're yeah. full swan size now. And we saw them and they were like, they fit in your hands. 
Yeah, that happened. I'm bigger than my mum. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've got my Christmas tree hat on, which means I'm going to be cruising. Yeah, 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 I